Hey, this is Man Made Mead. Today, I wanna to talk to you about the most important piece of equipment you could possibly ever own as a mead maker. All right, so whenever you're making mead, you need a bunch of equipment, not really a bunch, you need glassware and, and various things. You need your honey, your water, yeast, all that. But there's one piece of equipment that is probably the most important to have in order to accurately measure things um, within your mead. In order to figure out where your gravity is, um, you need, which we'll talk about what gravity is in a moment, you need a thing called a hydrometer. Now a hydrometer, uh, mine's in this, in this case to keep it from cracking, this is a glass, basically looks like a tube. It is a measuring device um, for measuring the specific gravity, or in some cases, if you like the other world of bricks scale, um, of your mead or your wine or your beer. So what is specific gravity? That is how heavy, I guess, your uh, water or whatever you're, you're brewing is. How much density is within that liquid. When you figure out the density, you can almost always be able to figure out the possible uh, alcohol by volume for that specific, um, you know, mead or wine or beer. This thing is what we use to find that. Now there are some very fancy ones which are electronic and um, they get a little more expensive, but this hydrometer is, um, this is a, a very basic one. So this thing I think was $30 and all you do when you start to make a beer or a wine or a mead in this case, you need to take a small sample of that mead and then you put it into a tall enough tube uh, or container to where you can drop this thing in. When it, uh, and I'll show you like a little video of me doing this, but when you are measuring your gravity, you are finding what that ABV possibility is. It will float to a certain point. So let's say I put mine in and it floated to 1.090. That means that my, um, my gravity of my liquid is 1.090, which to let you know, water is 1.000. There are a couple things that we reference whenever we are talking about gravity. You might hear people say something like, it is 10.90 or 10, 1090 is probably a better way to say it. Um, that would mean you would basically replace the decimal point to 1.090 like I just mentioned a moment ago. So if you hear it, you might hear some people say um, 1040 or 1050 or 11, 1120, something like that. That's talking about gravity. Um, now I'm not gonna talk about the bricks scale today. I'm really gonna talk about the specific gravity side. And um, this, this hydrometer is how you find that. This is the most important piece of equipment because without some way to measure your gravity of your liquid, your fermenting, you can't possibly figure out how alcoholic that liquid is gonna be. At that point, it's a guessing game because you have no way to measure what you're doing. So um, you can find these on Amazon, you can find them on your brew shop, you can do all these things. Now they have, um, different ranges of them. There are some cheap ones, and I'll caution you with this. If you buy a very, very cheap hydrometer, there's a great chance that it will not accurately um, measure the, the gravity of your mead. And that's because these things have to be weighted a certain way, and they have to go through certain um, tests of their own to be accurate. It's a scientific machine, basically, and it needs to be tested well. So if you buy a cheap one, you get on there and find the $10 one, it might not measure your gravity well. You can go crazy and buy some ones that are 150 bucks. Some of them get very, very specific. They uh, can get down to you know these tiny, tiny decimal points when you're reading them. Uh, and then there are some that are extended scales. So this one only goes from 1.000 up to 1.160. So the max ABV that I could calculate with this thing is actually 20%. Can you make something past 20%? Absolutely. Do you need a specific hydrometer to figure that out? Probably. And uh, there are places to get those. But without this, you're not going to be able to accurately uh, gauge how much alcohol is in your mead, which is a very important thing. If you're making mead, you want to be able to accurately, um, you know, 
<laughs> measure everything you're doing. It is okay to use the same recipe, uh, but if you never know what your gravity is, then you never know a very important part of the mead making process. So I'm gonna put a bunch of links down below and I showed you a video a moment ago of how you do this, but this is the most important piece of equipment you could ever own when making mead. I will also caution you that they are so fragile. This thing is, is glass. It's very, very thin glass. And if you drop it, if you tap it the wrong way, it can shatter. So just be very careful um, when you're doing this. You don't wanna to have to spend an extra $30, $40 because you got a little careless and, and dropped it. So, uh, of course, I, I'm not mentioning the sanitation side of things. That is also very important. It's important that you have your star sand and your PBW and all that stuff that is a um, sanitizer for brewing. But the piece of equipment is this hydrometer. You can get a refractometer, which is also the same ish thing. There are lots of alternatives. If you really want to spend the money, you can go crazy and buy the most fancy hydrometer in the world or elect electronic hydrometer, basically. However, you don't need that. Spend about 30, 40 bucks, get yourself a decent hydrometer, measure your alcohol content, write it down so that whenever you start your brew and you finish your brew, you can compare the two notes. Let's say you started at 1.090, which if you're looking at this thing, it's super simple. You can either look at the side of it and go, okay, I'm at 1.090, and then I can turn this around. Oh, that will set me at about 11, 0.5% or about 12%. Um, you can also use online calculators and I'll put up a link to one here and down in the, in the description. But if you wanna know exactly down to the decimal point what your gravity is gonna be uh, or what your alcohol by volume will be, you can do that. There is a, an equation to do this, by the way, if you wanna do this by hand, it is uh, pretty simple. You can take your starting gravity minus your uh, final gravity and figure out what that is. Now that can be that's a, a vague way to talk about this because there are a lot more factors within that. But again, you need a hydrometer to be able to do this. So I hope you will um, invest in one if you don't have one already. I did not have one for the first six meads I made. And to be quite honest, it, um, it's a big bummer because those meads, I wish I had more information about them. I have how much honey I put in, but I don't have the gravity and I, can't, I couldn't tell you what their ABV is. They could be 15%. That could be 12%, I don't know, but get one of these. So if you're looking to buy a piece of equipment that's cheap um, or that is gonna be useful in your life, go spend uh, the few bucks and get yourself a hydrometer. Um, and then of course, buy your other brewing things, but this is important. So thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this. If you're a brand new brewer, um, get out there and make some mead and make some beer, wine, whatever you're doing. Uh, but I hope you will uh, join me for another video in the future. I'll be back with some more content. And uh, of course, if you wanna support the channel, links below, subscribe, like, all those things. But have a great day and cheers.